Hello everyone, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games. We're back with the latest episode of <gasps> Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. We're just about to go and find Fred's weapon, hopefully, if all goes well. It's been going a bit too well for too long though, so <laughs> I imagine drama, destruction, problems. And now that we're down to Petra versus Radar, I bet we're going to have a horrible choice at some point. I can feel it coming. I still feel sad for Luna. So, uh, onward. Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. <laughs> Halt! You there! What business have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along. Don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not going to... Well, that's <laughs> great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You too, Jeff. Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, <laughs> took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. I don't we're think so. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than it sounds. Yeah. Oh, mm. This is so sad. Bring out your army. I'm happy to take them on. Oh, oh. And they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But uh, they're still getting ready, and it's going to be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> All right, we, we don't have an army. Exactly. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Ooh. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Thank you, Val and Sue, for doing us a solid. It's our pleasure. We're kind of already guard to do what we can every single day. We're here to defeat Romeo and stop all of his challenges. Help us help you. Uh, help us. Yeah, logically we're helping you more than you're helping us, which wouldn't help us help you, but helping us would help us help you more than you've ever helped anyone, so... <laughs> Ah, my brain hurts. I can't argue with your word magic. Open the gate on it. <laughs> no, soup. The the gate. Get yeah, the, the real gate. Right on it. I wish I could use word magic just in general daily life. Whoa, where's llama? <laughs> llama. Llama. Can we take smell Luna on you? Can we take the llama? Greet the llama, greet the llama. We we need that llama. We need to do a swap seat. Grab the llama, get Luna. Yeah. Uh having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I uh <laughs> suppose that uh might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if 
You can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, Ooh. like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Uh, make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. I can't build Jackie Stallone's face. Uh, right. Oh, what's that? Mycelium block. I don't even know what that is. Uh, right. Let's let's do a mycelium. Uh, ooh, what should we make? Why, and why is this now back? That went away beforehand and that was really annoying earlier on in the game. Nice glitch. Yeah. Oh, it can go that Oh, it can go even higher. Okay. in there. <clears throat> it's my attempt of trying to do some kind of crystal skull. <laughs> it's going to not look very good at all, but... Make it like Cubert. Evil Cubert. Let's give him the droopy nose. Droopy, droopy nose. Oh, come on. Why is it always so difficult to stick something like underneath? when you're trying to do like a protrusion. Eh, maybe I can't. Right, we'll do a reverse cubert then, since we can't do a other cubert. Now, now it looks like a skull giraffe. Uh, and we'll give it poke out a wee bit. That gives it a little three feet. That'll do, isn't it? That's probably my best one yet. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yes. Wonderfully horrifying. We should have rebuilt the Fred structure. That would have worked just as well. <laughs> Never mind. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material. This is barbaric. This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering. Okay. Right, what have we got? Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Excellent. Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Don't ask me how I come up with the names. 
Sometimes inspiration just comes to you. You know? You know? <laughs> Armor of such fine quality, you just want to crouch and yell, Please don't hit me. Okay. Dangerous. But also damage, so it's more relatable. You know, like one trillion out of ten. Yeah. That'd be my Friday night look. <laughs> Cause it's the seventh. What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? That was one day when I was like, Sue, how many straps can you put on that armor? Turns out a lot is the answer. I think we'll go... Let's go with armor number seven. <laughs> Look like I've got dungarees on. Huh? Oh god. Radar. <laughs> She's good, thanks. <clears throat> oh. Good luck. Oh, you poor doomed souls. <laughs> thanks. Falls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. <laughs> I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? Nope. That's all right. Get them under the. Yes. Then Radar, use that. You have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it. Ow. 
I don't think you could get on lava at all. see how I can do I think I've learned that one too late. I think I might die. Anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready! Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks, quickly! Be fine if you let me just get on with it. Can't do this forever. How am I supposed to like this thing? <laughs> Oh, 
Whew. Yes! Let's get out of here before we stumble on a hidden stage. Well done, us. Well done, us. Indoor fireworks as well. Nicely done there. 4-4, four, four, not what you expected. Wow. This is the first place down here that looks alive. Oh, oh, perfect. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I'll meet you over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. Okay. Nice, suspicious Petra. For Fred. For Fred. Did Romeo do all this? Maybe he regretted it in the end. Yeah, something doesn't. Something still doesn't feel right. I'm sure this isn't what you thought you were signing up for. Being an intern doesn't usually involve deadly adventures. Uh, what? Did you say something? No, nothing. <laughs> How are your feet? Ah, <sighs> better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. I get hurt feet just from blisters on shitty trainers, so you're doing well, Radar, don't you worry, mate. Got the flowers. Flowers. So strange to see flowers growing down here. How do they do it? These lamps after the bed rocking. Ah, okay. Thank you for that exposition. I was about to say, how does it work down here? How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Mm. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Tell someone you broke it. Uh huh. Remember, I used to read try. all the time. Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. <gasps> Petra, what's wrong? N n nothing. It just reminds me of uh, this this story about. Puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, rabbits that can't find carrots. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just yes. make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Mm -hmm. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. You can't have it Axel both ways, love. Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us? Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. Damn we right still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. Mm, no. I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. 
Needy Petra is needy. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? What about this? It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learn to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. Alright, so that's over the red bed. Red bed. <laughs> kind of fun to say. Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? This one's purple, very regal. Pick it up. Let me to is that X? Place the red bed. Red for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Blue for the book. Purple is empty. Or oh, well, it'll be the torch, won't it? And then we'll probably have to craft a torch or get a torch and stick it in the other thing to make that work. Blue for Fred. Purple for Zara. would be here where it all started this is the key to defeating Romeo it says hashtag potato 451 potato that's the weapon what are wh what are we supposed to do with potato that's <laughs> not a weapon it's a root vegetable and not a very good one I oh, I hate potatoes that's what it is that's so dumb Right? <sighs> Hashtag potato451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Uh, yeah, but you're like one step away from going nuts, Petra, yeah, and doing the same thing. Too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Hello, Isn't Petra. that what I've been doing? Yes. Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. Oh, I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. Mm -hmm. It's where I belong. But Not then... in Beacon Town. Which but is good. I don't want to lose you. You mean... <sighs> A lot to me, Jesse. I... 
-hmm. More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You're my best friend, Jesse. You have to do what's best for you, Petra. And no matter how far away that takes you, you'll always know where to find me. Exactly. I'm gonna miss you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> you'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We... would Better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Yay! All the others, we're getting out of here. Yay! Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Because that won't bring over the ginormous Enderman. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason to keep things away. This is our way to get Jack and Nurm. We need them. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. <laughs> the weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. <clears throat> inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. <clears throat> Potato. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. Heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> a memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you. Once, Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. You're welcome. All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? See, I told you! Idiots. That's our way home. Oh. oh man. Everyone, get out of its way. It's looking at Zara. Oh no, Zara didn't look. Okay. It's the Fred folk. Those are 
are not the people from Fred's Keep. Those are mobs. Oh, just what we needed. Uh. Find me a bed when I had been so unhelpful. Go. Mobs don't stand a chance. Hello. I didn't see, I was going to say, I didn't see him. Anything but here at the moment would be wonderful. Everyone, we are leaving! Oh boy, radar. We're winning, for now. But they're not going to be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. Ah! It's after me. Radar, we're not leaving you down here. 
We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Oh, God. Return with Raider. Save Fred's people. Oh! 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 I see. I knew there would be some horrible choice. There's always a horrible choice in these horrible games. Ah! Oh. Bugger! Oh, this term. This comes to the age-old thing of save lots of people or save one person. We've got to save Fred's people. Look at how many of them there are. Versus radar. And radar might be. Oh. oh. Save Go Fred's people. Radar. I'll see you topside. Radar. Get some of this. Oh, yeah, that's Please right. survive, I'm dude. Talking about these huge arms. He's past this, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, Ken, come on. You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere's got to be better than here. Oh. Four, five out of time. Portals ever. Ooh. No. What Nerm said. That was not a quality three point landing. Sorry, Nermy. <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. <laughs> it was weeks before he'd touch the Order Hall front door without wearing yeah, gloves. Back. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Oh Is my that... god. Beacon Town. Uh oh! 4 6, tougher than diamonds. Trophy is gold. Okay, let's take a look. Oh! That's interesting. See, again, we're in the minority. So 40% of people accept the scavenger's deal. I was fine with that. It looked like we was about to fall. Um, you and 79.6% of players won the trivia contest in Fred's Keep. Thought How? my adventures were over. <gasps> I was content to let life pass me by. Oh, yes. That is until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> they said, Jack, do you think you can give me a hand? For mine is trapped in a glove from the sea. I thought I had left the seas behind. But the seas came a calling for me. It's a lonely road for a hero. The road is a bittersweet friend. For the road is cold and it's hollow. But it's all you'll have left in the end. That surprises me of the petrol. There is glory. 
in my tragic backstory. But that is not why I'm small. For nothing builds shoulders like regrets big as boulders, as sure as the grief takes its toll. so ripped or I'd been crushed from the start and I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked to hold the pain of my broken heart <laughs> My friends' faces, they'll never leave me So I wrote them this sad serenade For the curse of a memory that's perfect Is that those faces, they'll never fade La 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 Listen, my eye <clears throat> It's a lonely road for a hero But I won't be alone at its end For I will wait in the shallows Until we meet again until we meet again. <laughs> that's superb. <laughs> oh, that's the best. Top, top, top people. Well done. Thank you, Jack, for that. I'm really surprised at some of the choices that's gone on here. So I didn't realise how much of a minority that... Because I, I know he's a minority when we said that... Uh, she was an adventurer compared to she was just feeling lonely for friends or she should be after friendship because I get that Minecraft this whole story mode thing has been very much around a friendship thing but she's always been a bit of a loner so I was like right you're an adventurer minority and I know she keeps on going on for friends but she keeps on saying that she wants to go off and do her own thing so she's in that dichotomy of how you can be a traveller but then still have people to pick up with when you go to places that's why I said I'd wait for her because it lets her still have friends but she can go off and do her own thing but we are clearly in the minority with that as well so really interesting everything else kind of doesn't surprise me um, I'm su vaguely surprised that 66% of people um, chose Binter and Fred's friends as well I suppose because of the amount of people that are in that group versus radar. Does that make sense? Anyway, what's the teaser? Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Where are the others? Hmm. Don't you do nothing with my Lucas? So, thank you so much for watching. That was a bit of a bumper edition because I thought we'd get to the end quite quickly. I could have split that one probably into two episodes, but never mind. Uh, also to the final countdown. Da -da 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 -da. Next episode, or next week rather, we'll be starting episode five, Above and Beyond. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Let me know what your decisions were throughout episode four if you're playing along as well. And uh, take care. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.